There are a few podcasts I listen to on a daily basis to improve my understanding of the global economy and the financial market. There's a lot of information and news out there and listening to podcasts has helped me filter some of the noise and help me refocus on what's the biggest news of the day. Alongside watching the news or listening to news radio, I think it's also a pretty efficient way to consume the news. Our first one is FT News Briefing. This podcast is produced by the Financial Times. It talks about one or two economic or business event of the day and explain them briefly. I find it pretty easy to listen to. It's about 10 minutes for each episode. I usually listen to it when I'm having breakfast or getting ready for the day. I feel like the reason I listen to it is not really to understand the event itself, but to get some kind of validation on being informed of the events that FT thinks are the biggest stories or event of the day. The second one is The Economist podcast. It's a podcast by The Economist. I used to order their printed weekly papers and then switch to the online version. The high school I went to had the printed version, so me and my friends like to read it during weekends at the library because our economics teacher loved to talk about global events or stories. And not for long, we found out that those stories are mostly covered by The Economist. At the time, I did feel a little disappointed that the knowledge adults seem to have so much are from the sources that were available to us as well. That being said, he's still one of my favorite and respected teachers. The Economist has in-depth coverage of different economics and business issues that happen during the week. Very educational, pretty technical and informative. But it's a British publication, so it's mainly from the perspective of the UK. Recently, I have a few things going on and also have other new subscriptions, so I'm passing my subscription with The Economist right now and opting for their podcast. Their podcast, like their publication, is also very informative. Each episode goes pretty deep dive on a single or few topics. Money Talks is usually on finance and Checks and Balance is usually on US politics or businesses. Their episode used to be all available free versions, but in recent months, for some reason, they have restricted some episodes or some have become pay versions. If I have time, I'll listen to their free episodes. A third one is The Daily by The New York Times. I feel like this one is more on politics, US politics and global news coverage, which makes sense as FT and Economist are more of an economics and business journal. With The Daily, they will interview real life people that have been affected by the event. So if an event is on strike, then they'll interview people during the strike, like their stories, their feelings. So it's more realistic, it's more like listening to news that we will usually watch on TV rather than just listening to journalists talking to each other about an event. The fourth one is not related to the global economy or the financial market, but I have to confess I listen to it more than other podcasts. It's a famous Huberman Lab podcast. Each episode is pre-learned about two to three hours. It goes into detail on how our body and brain works and how we can improve our daily life with the science-based tool that he talks about. I don't really understand or remember the scientific terminology he talked about, but the tools he recommended has brought tremendous positivity to my life. If you can tell, I really enjoy listening to the podcast. I like to listen to it when I'm commuting or have some spare time. So these are my top four podcasts I listen to on a daily basis, mainly the FT's News Briefing and the Huberman Podcast. There are many benefits of reading or listening to news articles or coverage. It provides a great sense of educational value and provides information and general knowledge about events happening around us and around the globe. I think one of the greatest benefit it brings to us is it allows us to connect with others. Connection can be formed by sharing ideas and perspective on the topics that interest us and sharing thoughts on global events can also be a great option. I'm a pretty lazy person. I tend to stick to what I'm familiar with. So if you have other podcast recommendations or 
other comments or recommendations in general, please share them in the comments down below. I'd love to know them. And thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.